Hey there, incoming fifth graders. I am Mr. Ogle, and I want to be the first to welcome you to Sullivan Middle School. Normally, we would have done this in person, and we were really looking forward to seeing you come in for your orientation. Uh, however, we're going to have to uh, make do with this video. So I'm going to do my best to make it quick and uh, entertaining and informational for you. So we're going to head inside. I'm just going to put my mask on, and I'll show you around the building. So this is the middle school office. This is where you will find myself, Mrs. Reeder, Mrs. Rose would normally be sitting here to greet you when you come in, uh, and also Miss Keeper, Mrs. Moore. So this is where a lot of uh, fun and important things happen. So uh, if we see you down here, when you come in, you'll just come and check in with Mrs. Rose here at the desk, let her know what you're here for, and she'll get you to the right person. So this is the middle school office. We're gonna head on out here. to our lobby area. Uh, under normal circumstances, we'd have a couple of tables out here that uh, sometimes teachers will use as an extended learning space to come down and, and do some group work. Uh, we've got a drink cart, which unfortunately we'll not be able to have this year, but certainly hoping next year that our Rise and Grind Cafe gets back up and running and students can come down here in the morning and have hot cocoa or a flavored frappe or something like that. So we look forward to getting that back up and going. Also down here in the lobby, uh, we've got a soda machine that is, uh, will turn on after school. So uh, after school is the only time that students are allowed to use this, but you can come down and get a, a drink for the walk home or, uh, or you know, to take home to have once you get off the bus. And we also have an iPad charging station. So this will be important uh, as you show up. If, you're, if your iPad battery is not making it through the day and you need to get on the charger, you bring it down here and you can get that plugged in. Uh, at this time, uh, we're going to take you up to the third floor and kind of show you where you're going to be spending most of your time. We're going to make a quick stop here in the hub because you guys will like this part. This is the hub. This used to be the library, but a couple of years ago, we were able to get some money to turn it into a really cool collaborative space. We've got whiteboard walls everywhere, the tabletops we can write on with dry erase markers. We can rearrange the furniture. Uh, this is a space that I think will be really awesome uh, as we deal with all the kind of restrictions that we're gonna have to deal with this year because we can kind of spread out and do all kinds of fun learning in here. And we also have more space back through those windows. Uh, and some more computers. So this is a space that you guys will be liking to spend time in. So now we'll head up to the third floor. So we are here at the top of the stairs uh, on the third floor. Uh, this end of the hallway is primarily fifth grade. So the fifth grade lockers will run uh, from about halfway down this hallway. You can kind of see where the elevator is all this way. So these are all fifth grade lockers all the way down here and down this long hallway. These are all fifth grade lockers. At the end of this hallway on the left is the boys restroom and on the other end of the hallway, the exact same, exact same way, uh, is the girls' restroom. These uh, lockers, as you'll notice, these are something that uh, a lot of fifth graders are very excited and nervous about coming over. Uh, as you see, they've got a combination lock on here, um, and a lot of fifth graders are very nervous and not going to be able to get it open, but it's actually quite easy. Uh, in fact, in here in just a minute, I'm going to show you a video that explains exactly how to do it. So if you have a combination lock at home, you can practice on it, uh, and then when you get your combination to your locker and you come in, you'll already be a pro. So let's watch that tutorial video right now. To open up your combination lock, you will first need to know the code. For this lock, the numbers are 24, 30, and 4. First, turn your dial three times to the right. 
One, two, three. Then keep turning it right until you get to your first number, which is 24 in this case. Then turn the dial one full turn to the left and pass up your first number. Once you've passed it up, stop on your second number, which in this case is 30. Then turn your dial to the right and go straight to your last number. In this case, it's 4. Once you've done that, you're ready to open up your lock. So as you can see, opening a locker is going to be very easy. And if you are struggling, all of our teachers know how to unlock them. Uh, we've got keys. We can help you out. The one thing that I will tell you is this may be your first year in middle school, but it's not our first year in middle school. So you're not the first group of fifth graders that we've helped through it. Uh, I tell students every year that by day 10, they'll be doing their locker combination upside down and backwards. So we are going to move on now to check in with some of your teachers who have recorded some messages. So we're going to start out with Miss Heddens. Miss Heddens uh, teaches science. She teaches some STEM. She's really good at math and she's just really fun. So I'm going to turn it over and uh, let Miss Heddens introduce herself to you. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Miss Heddens. And I will be teaching fifth grade science this year. I am about to start my 12th year here teaching for the Sullivan School District. I grew up in Sullivan and I actually moved to Sullivan in fifth grade. So it's kind of crazy that I now teach fifth grade here. So I'm just really looking forward to meeting all of you and uh, starting year 12 off with a new crew. And um, I know you're a great group of kids. And so I'm just excited to get that going. You may have heard already that I have pets in my classroom. I have two. One of them is a leopard gecko and his name's Phoenix. I can't show you him today because he's still at my house for the summer. But I will introduce you to Stripey. And he's kind of, well, he was being active. There he's moving a little bit. This is Stripey and he's a striped corn snake. He's a friendly snake. He lets kids handle him. We'll talk about snake safety and we will feed him and uh, take care of him, make sure he has water throughout the year. Um, so he's a great addition to our classroom. This is the front of my classroom. And this year I've done something new, created a virtual background. And so I'm trying this new with you guys. We'll be using our iPads a lot this year so that we can connect our remote learners into our classroom. And um, this will be a virtual background that you'll get in Google Slides. And when you come into my class, it'll have links and stuff for us. Um, resources that we can use and so this will be something that you will refer to a lot. My bitmoji will change right now. I'm still a little relaxed because we're still in summer but once school starts Miss Heddens will be up running around this classroom just like I would in a regular day. So I also like my science puns. Any good science teacher does. Let us now pause for a moment of science and over here you'll see our every Monday matters board. You will figure out what we do with that whenever we step in here, our first Monday of school. So just looking around in the back, you'll see my weekly graffiti board, and that's where students can write messages, and we'll talk about what you can do there. But I want to really focus on one of the favorite sayings in my classroom. It's right here. Experiment, learn, fail, repeat. And that's really what science is all about. So scientists, they want to find out something new. So they conduct an experiment. And then with that experiment, they make observations and they collect data and they really learn a lot about that experiment. Sometimes though, that experiment doesn't go how we want it to go. So that experiment actually fails. And guess what? Instead of giving up, those scientists just repeat and they try something different. So this is kind of our motto in here, right? We're going to experiment, we're going to learn, we're going to fail, and that's okay because we're going to repeat. We got to be ready to take risks and uh, to be excited to learn new things. And so what I really want you to know too is when you enter this classroom, you are amazing, you are important, you are scientists, you are explorers, you are loved, you are readers, you are risk takers, you are a friend, you are special, you are leaders, you are respected, you are the reason we are here. 
I am so excited to get this year started with you all. See you soon. Next up, I'm going to introduce you to Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson teaches some social studies and some literature and language, but you know what? She's going to explain it far better than me. So, Mrs. Wilson. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Wilson, and I will be your fifth grade social studies teacher. And I also might have the opportunity to have some of you, again, for literature and language. I teach four sections of social studies and one section of literature and one section of language. So some of you I might have once, some of you I might have twice, and some of you I might have three times a day. So uh, with that being said, with social studies this year, we will talk about how people came from all over the world to uh, claim residency in the United States of America as the early 13 colonies. We then will talk um, a lot about the American Revolutionary War and reasons for that, causes of that, and the effect of um, breaking away from Great Britain. We will also talk about the early establishment of the United States, such as our very first president. We'll also um, spend a lot of time talking about Lewis and Clark and their expedition and all of the things that they did and documented to bring back so we could find out some more information about what else was out there. In literature, we will read a variety of novels. We will read them independently. We will read them together as a class. And uh, we will also read articles. You'll have a lot of time. We do a lot of discussion in literature class You'll have the opportunity to read things and then kind of give your ideas. You'll talk with your peers. Um, it's a big uh, discussion base. We do a lot of talking in literature about different things that we are reading. You will also discuss a lot of different story elements, different genres, lots of different things in literature. Language, we will spend a lot of time writing. We'll dissect sentences. We'll talk about um, proper punctuation, different types of sentences, different types of writing. We will develop as writers this year. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time editing and discussing and ways that we can improve our writing skills. So with that being said, uh, there's not very much time left of summer. And uh, as fifth grade teachers, we all want you to know that we are excited to meet you and just soak up the last, oh, I don't know, couple weeks of summer that you do have left and just know that we are very excited and patiently waiting for August 17th so we can all welcome you into our classrooms. It's going to be a great year and this year is full of changes, but no worries. Don't be afraid. Uh, your fifth grade teachers are here to help you in any way that you can. Don't stress about your locker. Don't stress about trying to find your classes. We are all here and we will meet you with a smile every day in the hallway and be able to help you in any way that we can. So until then, enjoy the rest of your summer, sleep in as much as you can, and we will see you soon. Have a great rest of the summer, guys. Bye-bye. Next up is Mrs. Yoder. She also teaches uh, literature and language. In fact, most of you will probably have her for literature and language. So without further ado, Mrs. Yoder. Hello, I'm Mrs. Yoder. Um, I teach fifth grade literature and language, um, so I get to see you for two different classes. Literature is reading, so we will read some good novels, you'll get to read some articles, um, you'll also have time to pick out novels that you choose that you think are interesting to read. Um, we go to the library and Mrs. McClellan will help you find some really good books. Um, in language that is writing and grammar and things like that um, so we'll do a lot of fun writing this year too um, i'm really excited to meet you soon our next stop is with mrs allen you might uh, recognize the last name if you guys remember mr allen your principal from a couple years ago this is uh his wife mrs allen she teaches math force here at the fifth grade so a majority of you will probably be having mrs allen as she teaches our our regular math class Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Sullivan Middle School. My name is Mrs. Allen and I teach fifth grade math. 
In case you're wondering, yes, I am married to Mr. Allen, your former SES principal, but please, please, please do not hold that against me. Let's go check out my classroom. As you can see, I have flexible seating. These are whiteboard tables that you can use to do your work on. We have lots of fun options and places for you to sit. I do also have some individual whiteboards that you will be able to use if you would choose so. Uh, one of my favorite things that I really enjoy is my gong here. I like to use this sometimes to get your attention. Uh, this is my room. I teach math. I really enjoy teaching math and teaching here in Sullivan. And I can't wait to see you guys on August 17th. Have a great rest of your summer. And our last stop is with Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Wright teaches primarily our sixth grade math, but for those of you that are in fifth grade accelerated math, you'll be visiting Mrs. Wright. So I'm gonna turn it over to her and let, you, let her uh, introduce herself as well. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wright. I teach sixth grade math and fifth grade accelerated math. This year we're gonna have lots of conversations and dialogue about exploring new concepts and ideas in math. We'll also be taking notes that go along with those things and doing activities. Here's a quick view of our room. I'm excited to meet you all in just a couple weeks. All right, so now that we've uh, looked around on the third floor a little bit, I'm gonna take you back down. We're gonna head over into the high school and I'm gonna show you a few other spaces that you're gonna be visiting on a daily basis. So follow me. Alright, so as you can see it's pretty dark in here. If you've ever wondered what the school looks like in the summer, it looks a lot like this. There's areas shut off as they polish floors and, and different things like that. So you get a little peek behind the curtain. This is the choir room. I'm going to step in here real quick. So as you can see, this is all still kind of uh, under a little bit of summer cleaning. Uh, normally this is where you'd be coming if you're in chorus. Uh, however, this year, uh, this is going to be an extension of our lunchroom. So uh, here in the next week or so, we're going to get some lunch tables in here. So some of you may be eating lunch in here uh, as we return to school. Choir will be primarily doing outside. Um, so uh, this will be more of a lunchroom. And then you can see here, there's a, a little doorway out onto the stage, which is where all the stuff out of the choir room is right now. But that will also be an area where we'll be having lunch. So normally I'd be showing you this is where you're going to be doing some singing and dancing. But this year, this is where you're going to be eating some lunch. So the next place I'm going to show you is the media center. So this is in the high school. We came, we just came through the breezeway and took a right. And that's how we get down here to the media center. So you can tell everything's not right where it's supposed to be just yet because this summer we got all new carpet. So they had to take all the books off the shelves, take all the bookshelves out. And so they're still in the process of bringing all this stuff back in. And so we're about a week and a half away from school. Uh, and this is still here. This is not atypical. So I know when you guys are used to showing up on the first day of school and everything looks really polished and, and put together, this is what the place looks like most of the summer. So you guys really are getting a kind of a behind the scenes look of what happens at school uh, during the summer. So as you can see, we've got shelves and shelves of books uh, all along the walls out here in the middle. We've got computer labs down here. And then this part back here is really cool. Uh, we've got all kinds of seating, We've got the exercise balls, uh, cool tables. Uh, we've got this uh, new, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a couch thing, but uh, all kinds of cool stuff to sit on. So when you come down uh, here to the library uh, to get books or, or do a lesson with Mrs. McClellan, uh, there's all this really cool collaborative space, kind of like what we saw up in the hub actually. So the media center, again, there's a lot of cool places, places that you're gonna love over here at Sullivan Middle School, Sullivan High School, and this is one of them. And 
this is the commons. So this is where we would normally be eating lunch. Uh, about a third of you will be continuing to eat lunch in here every day. Uh, we'll be able to put 50 students in here and you can see it's a big open space so we can really get spread out and make sure that everybody's staying safe and staying healthy. Uh, but we'll be able to eat regardless of whether you're eating in here or in one of the two spaces down in the choir room. This is where we'll all come and file through uh, an area that's right behind where you're standing right now uh, where you'll be able to file through and get your, your lunch. Normally it's a, a nice uh, buffet style but however this year uh, we'll be taking a lunch count in the morning so it'll be unfortunately similar to what you uh, are used to from the elementary. I know a lot of you are looking forward to the stories that you've heard about our awesome lunch spread over here with nachos and pizza and, and all that stuff and hopefully we get back to that very soon because I know I for one really like the pizza over here so I'm looking forward to getting some of that pizza again. So uh, we'll continue down over here. So we are now we're on the other end of the commons, uh, and this is the band room. So for those of you that are that are wanting to play an instrument, learn an instrument, uh, and join the band, this is where we'll do that. So uh, as you can see, uh, we've got all kinds of stuff in here: uh, instrument lockers. Uh, our band director, our new band director, Mr. Tripp, is in there getting some uh, getting some work done. Um, so yeah, this will be, if, for those of you that are interested in learning an instrument, this is where that magic happens. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Sullivan Middle School. Again, we, uh, we would have loved to have had you in here in person and had some uh, eighth graders kind of showing you around and sharing their advice. Um, but you'll get a chance to meet them and all of us soon enough. So we look forward to seeing you in about a week. And just remember, we are one tribe.